Um, hello, everyone, and welcome <clears throat> to today's webinar on evolving girl <coughs> language style. I'm so sorry, I have a bad throat, so just excuse me for that. Um, so allow me to welcome our dear friend, uh, Yogesh Paliwal, Mr. Yogesh. Uh, just to give you a brief about him, he's an industry old timer uh, with wealth of uh, in knowledge in the uh, localization industry. Uh, he has started his very early in the industry and you know started his uh, career um, as when it, the industry was evolving as a linguist. And later he graduated into higher positions and you know I have been witnessing his uh, journey since then and he has been contributed contributing immensely uh, to his organization's growth. And, uh, and to the growth of the language industry, uh, uh, you know, as a leading light of the language function, he has been supporting all key customers in uh, shaping up their language and quality strategies successfully. He's currently functioning as an associate, uh, as an associate project director at Landbridge India. So uh, welcome Yogesh and the floor is all yours. Thank you, Tanushri, uh, for this generous introduction. <laughs> I'm humbled. Thank you so much. And hello, everyone. Sudeen, everyone. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure being here. I'm very excited about this meeting and uh, looking forward to share uh, some of uh, you know the knowledge information that I have gathered uh, being an insider of this industry from almost day one. So I'll, uh, I, I, while I, I, I am the, 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 the speaker today, I'm the presenter today, but I don't claim to be, you know, the expert or, or an expert. I'm still a, a student of, of <clears throat> language and localization, and I'm still learning, uh, you know, even today. So I'll, what I'm going to share is, is what I have been witnessing of late uh which is the the the, the mandate of of this meeting so uh, i can you know begin with a, a general statement that the industry is witnessing you know uh, tremendous changes of of late and uh, uh, like all walks of life industry is, is, is this industry is also witnessing change but there are changes every everywhere so we uh, being inside here uh, witnessing changes in the localization industry is nothing different like uh, the changes are happening everywhere so what's the the the, the difference but you know we, we as industry insiders will be speaking about the changes that are impacting us and uh, these changes like uh, as I said, we are we are industry insiders, so we are the basically we are the consumers, we are the producers, we are the people who bring about these changes. We are the torch bearers, and we are the you know uh, like harbingers or everything about about these changes. Uh, we 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 bring about these changes. We affect these changes, and we in turn we also get affected by by these changes. So it's a very a high paced uh, you know uh, time a, a time of you know immense technological advancement and uh, tremendous uh, pace uh, so uh, we all you know it's it's like uh, you know it's it's an information sharing knowledge sharing platform whereby we will we'll, uh, we, we share our, our uh, information and also uh, i mean I'm, I'm also looking forward not only my perspective but also looking forward to uh, get to know some of the things which i i may not have uh, you know uh, been been privy to so uh, we'll move to uh, next slide uh, uh, tanushree yeah so as uh, uh, we know, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's an era of tremendous, very high-paced uh, changes all around, uh, specifically in the technological domain. And we, 
the people who are in language technology domain okay uh, are are very closely associated with the with the changes happening around and as as you know as users and you know consumers and influencers and ideators of this this and and uh, of this technology so there are many uh, impactful changes very disruptive changes uh, you know profound changes several I men we can talk about on these changes uh, for for hours together however in favor of uh, you know, in the, the mandate of this webinar we will see uh, some of the key uh categories of evolutions or changes in 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 the industry which are you know which are uh, uh, very very close to us very key with impacting our business positive way in most mostly in, in positive ways and in some uh, and they also pose some challenges so i have zeroed in on three categories basically technological changes what technological changes advances are happening <coughs> sorry and how are these impacting the industry so we will briefly talk about the technological changes then we will look at the 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 the, the evolving language style uh, the delivery and quality expectations and the new content type uh, which are coming our way uh, which which we are handling how we are handling what are the challenges around them <clears throat> and how uh the key concepts of 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 the 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 language uh, style and delivery are are changing in the time this is something very interesting very close to my heart so this is uh, this would be the second uh, thing that we'll be talking about then we'll be talking briefly also about the human resources i mean this is uh an industry whereby I mean, I mean, with all the technical advancements human intervention is still is, is very important after all this is language this is not you know maybe pure science so human resource how they I mean how how is this 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 factor uh, impacting and being impacted by the technological advances and uh, the 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 changes in the in the customer expectations uh, and and um, uh, things around them so these are the broad categories that we will be uh, uh, briefly touching about in between anything else uh, somebody wants to add or maybe have question at some point in time please uh, uh, flag in so uh, tanish can we move to next slide please yeah you are all okay so uh, coming to the uh, the the technology domain how how technology is is impacting you know we we we, we are in a an advanced stage of technology uh you know language and translation localization something was you know maybe a few years ago uh was never thought to be so that it would be one day so closely you know intertwined with uh, with with the technology but it's a it's a it's a, it's a i mean it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a, a, a very happy match of language and technology that we are witnessing and we are i mean i i feel we are fortunate to to be witnessing these changes and being part of this change so uh on the technological domain uh we all know machine translation and artificial intelligence have you know occupied a huge space i mean they they are like uh you know everywhere machine translation is 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 everywhere and it is evolving uh, you know rapidly very aggressively it has altered the the language production drastically especially in last 3 years and uh, this is while very impactful disruptive and uh, to me it's a, it's a very positive uh, you know contribution or positive change that has been brought in the in, in the domain uh but at the same time this is uh, very uh, very interesting uh, to see how impactful this is for for our business and uh, i mean to just i'll briefly also talk about it later but to briefly talk about that about this is what we are today most of our today today catering to is basically mtp machine translation post editing okay and uh, 
you know most of the 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 work the preliminary work is already done by machine translation and uh, we are in in most of the cases what we are doing is only basically uh, improvising the machine translation or you know translating the 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 delta what is what the machine translation and uh, ai could not handle or maybe uh, did not handle it before us and uh, most of it is quite uh, what we are getting out of this machine translation is today quite uh, uh, efficient and uh, of reasonably uh, good quality uh, you know some of the basic things like compliance and consistency are already taken care of to a to a to a to, to a certain extent specifically technical content and mostly the uis are coming out of uh, machine translation are, are are already quite efficient so this is very interesting and uh, um, this has impacted uh, our business uh, in a, in a, in a big way uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk about this uh, a little bit later this is also uh, changed the the productivity metrics uh, you know to 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 a great extent and impact on turnaround time and customer expectation everything is 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 you know has 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 changed uh, uh, for for good i would say so this is about technology uh tanushree can we yeah so coming to uh, business i mean one of the most uh, profound impact that i see uh, in terms of business is that the the project size or the drop size has reduced drastically uh, because of you know very effective very efficient uh, uh, machine transitions uh, the you know the the big volume projects running into you know millions of words are 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 history i mean today the you know definition of uh, a, a big size project is anything above a thousand words so this has uh, impacted the 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 business uh, economics uh, to 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 a, to, a, to a great uh, extent uh, it has like uh, reduced the volume coming to 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 us in a, in a bulk but uh, a, a rather uh, a subset or maybe uh, of subset of of this is that uh, the it has also changed the the expectations in terms of turnaround time like the turnaround times are now reduced to you know to to our irrespective of the time zone that you are working that that one might be working in the expectations are that you know if 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 things are so small and fast uh, they are expected to, to be delivered delivered within hours so that's uh, that's 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 also uh uh you know a, a profound change in when it comes to managing the business uh, uh you know uh, changing up the, the the time setup and uh, you know planning resources across all time zones and also this is a, a huge uh, uh, impact on business uh interestingly while we see the 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 you know the maybe the one shot drop size has has decreased uh i also see Uh, this is being offset the, the you know the the drop in, in 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 terms of total volume is to an extent offset by the demand coming out of the new domains when I mean, the new content types uh, the new domains uh, which which are coming into translation localization expectations is 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 you know is is, is feeding us with with millions of new words to be translated so that's a, a you know uh, Uh, an an interesting uh, side and as i said to an uh, to an extent this has offset the the loss of uh, <laughs> the the volume uh, big big volume um, and these days uh, you know few years ago uh, only uh, technical uh, content came into for for localization it or you know maybe to an extent some finance business legal but these days uh, like i i the the variety uh, of and and the diversity of the 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 type of content that is coming into localization is 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 amazing like e-commerce uh, ott platforms 
and of late i have seen even cryptos are are uh, you know lined up for for uh, you know wanting to be, go go look go local so this is very interesting uh, very positive and as well as 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 is quite challenging I mean, we, we we need to diversify this calls us to diversify to 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 a great uh, great uh, extent and it's a uh, the demand for new uncatered volumes to be localized in millions of words you know uh, you know needs a whole lot of hands technology and expertise so this is very interesting uh, in in in, uh, in in terms of the changes on 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 the business front yeah, which which i Do which wish, is a very uh, yeah yeah so i would all, you know let's make this session a little interactive uh, so that people don't doze off in between it's an evening time uh, so i would be picking up certain questions that the participants wanted to ask and certain questions that i also you know would like to ask you and uh, yeah. so the first question that you know i would like to ask from the participants question is that what do you think is the role of technology in making it easy and process driven because you know process is one of the key things um, you know that we need to take care of in an ever evolving localization market so what mm -hmm. do you think is the role of technology interesting question i mean technology is the you know is the is the, is the i would say is the bedrock of 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 what we are doing and what would be going uh, doing in 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 the years to come uh, as i said technology is 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 a great facilitator it's i mean we cannot survive uh, you know if 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 we are not technologically uh, you know uh, you know abreast we you no no, no uh, i mean from um, the organizations to service providers to individual contributors in this 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 domain one has to be technically up to date maybe you know uh, if if not ahead of the time but just is completely up to date with the with the with the, with the technological evolution how will this uh, uh, help as, or maybe change is, is if if this is the question i mean this is i i the changes or impact i can only see them positively like uh, you know uh, uh, as as you know for 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 companies like you know service providers like us and and many of us uh, turning around you know huge volumes is 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 a you know, like like is 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 possible I mean, at at a much greater speed we are able to cater to much much uh, greater volumes at the individual productivity level also people are 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 you know uh, adapting to technology and they are delivering very fast and very efficient uh, which like you know individual contributors who are companies on their own they are they are uh, you know benefiting hugely out of this uh, this 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 technical uh, advantage uh, coming to to uh, uh, process uh, i would say uh, well technology you know uh, for 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 somebody to leverage uh, with 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 uh, with the help of technology you know you need to be aligned with this okay you 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 cannot uh, uh, you know uh, maybe if if you know you cannot survive you cannot sustain if you are even one step behind the uh, the, the technology so you need to be to be uh, up to date with the technology keep pace with it and work in a very systematic uh, uh, you know no uh, environment uh, in a very very systematic uh, you know uh, uh, set up an environment with and it's very systematic mindset with you be you may be a, an individual contributor or you may be a, a big organization you may be a small organization uh, being aligned with uh, with 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 the system that you are working in it could be your own i mean your your own tool your own processes or it could be coming be it could be providing uh, be uh, be could have been provided by the customer i mean these days we see i um, mean organizations like uh, us uh, we have our own tools and process in place but uh, you know all the the major customers key customers they have their own uh, localization platform they have their own uh, uh, tools and processes so uh, we i mean 
of course uh, the industry tools and processes are, are are aligned to a great extent but at times we need to adapt and uh, you know if 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 we are to do business uh, we have to 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 maybe to align with the the customer tools and processes so that's how c uh, i i see it uh, yes, I, yeah i do agree yeah thank okay. you so. right okay yeah so next slide is it yeah, yeah. all right so uh, coming to uh, the core uh, language uh, uh, um, style and expectations again it's a, it's a it's a vast uh, topic and uh, i mean i i primarily being a, a linguist myself i mean i can talk on this on for for hours together but we'll try to summarize it summarize it uh, within the uh, the available time so as we briefly mentioned uh, the 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 language style and expectations are evolving and uh, uh, first aspect of this is uh, as i mentioned are the new content categories i briefly mentioned e-commerce ott digital assistants like alexa siri google home uh the, the you know the interactive voice assistants on your phones and tvs and all uh, and interactive content so these are uh, the new content times which are which are coming uh, to 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 us and uh, if we look at and they call in for very quick adaptation and turnaround because you know in in, in this fiercely competitive e-commerce domain things cannot wait okay it has to go today it has to go today so this is contributing i mean and they are also uh, you know a very big contributor to the uh, to the machine translation uh, data which is you know millions of words being being uh, added every every month so they are adding huge to the development of machine translation uh, right and uh, uh, this domain uh, my observation requires you know largely a generalist and adaptive resource base who can very quickly turn around things uh, you know uh, you know handling a, you know a variety of uh, uh, you know products and and services types and uh, this also requires uh, some specialist who can uh, contribute to uh, you know better data labeling which 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 in turn helps the machine transition and ai efficiency so this is a very uh, demanding uh, and you know expanding uh, uh, content categories uh, which which we have ott uh, the uh, the entertainment providers or information providers i mean it's a, they are expanding uh, tremendously growing at a breath taking um, uh, pace and providing millions of words and, and a huge variety of you know, you know the content to be to be translated um, they 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 are hugely diverse i mean nothing you know the 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 so called repetitions and you know, are are very few and far in between on, on the ott domain so it, every day it's a new challenge and uh, uh, they are uh, you know they are very um, they they require high level of cultural adaptation uh, which is uh, which is a, a, a big big challenge in itself even in technical domain we we have experienced that you know Uh, the the basic uh, expectation was that we align this to the uh, the culture of the la the, the target uh, language the target locale but in terms of uh, when it comes to ott the this is at the next level i mean the the, the adaptation to 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 cultural uh, sensitivities and inclusiveness and uh, being overall sensitive uh, without diluting the 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 the, the 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 impact or the intensity of the, the the original language content is 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 hugely challenging and uh, 
both e-commerce and uh, ott domains are fiercely competitive very demanding and very time sensitive so they have all the challenges uh, uh, you know no put in and 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 uh, all together uh, they demand quality speed efficiency and also secrecy all at the same time and secrecy is also i mean they are very sensitive about product launches and show launches and and you know uh, the, their teasers and uh, you know the 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 that you know the finance plans associate around then and legal uh, aspects and all those things they they are very very uh, demanding so uh, this is a huge challenge another interesting uh, domain is 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 the, the the localization for these uh, the digital assistants which which have uh, you know which 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 are there in every pocket every home um they 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 have a different uh, uh, type of uh, content coming in uh, for 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 transition uh, ai is is helping them in in uh, in, in the background but uh, the 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 base service uh, provided the base transition service provided efficiently is 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 at the core of uh, their running successfully and they are you know aiming at uh, you know new height new levels of efficiency every day so that's a very interesting uh, domain too these are new content categories uh, special need contents uh, would fall broadly in the in the, in the technical domain like something to be localized for enhancing the efficiency of uh, a, you know a machine transition engine i mean this these are special categories uh, of of uh, needs which 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 are coming our our way then uh, uh, this also requires uh, you know a good amount of data labeling whereby we categorize uh, you know a similar content for for which can be used for by specifically by the e-commerce players to to label their 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 content and their their products and by uh, you know which they use to enhance uh, you know ai working in the in the background so this is uh, uh, another special category and in uh, in terms of um, uh, uh, the the changes in the in the in the language something which i found very interesting is that the basic tenets of 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 uh, you know localization that the the keywords of the key concepts of localization have are challenged they are shaken to an extent uh, you know uh, i mean i i've i've seen uh, the key concept of terminology glossary is is diluted you know uh, uh, you know there is no uh, you know as much stress on uh, being uh, you know compliant to the glossary and being consist overtly consistent as it used to be uh, and and this has been uh, uh, there because you know the you know the uh, with the touch screen uh, coming into picture and the the search and command uh, functions uh, uh, being enabled with uh, with 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 voice commands so they have changed all the parameters and requirements for 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 uh, uh, these uh, uh, these type of concept the, the basic concepts of glossary and uh, uh, consistency they are not completely obsolete but they are diluted to an extent i mean uh, machine transition efficiency and uh, um, the and the the, the ai uh, you know for, for them to be working as they they still need consistency and quality but the core concept the the stress on these two concept is 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 is, is, is no longer uh, there so uh, 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 this is about uh, uh, you know uh, the, the 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 basic tenets of uh, uh, localization uh, uh, being challenged and and shaken so i have a question here yogesh that uh, yes. you know since you spoke about you know as we all watch ott and you know we are we all have gone used to buying things online and use e-commerce we know that you know Uh, or we interact you know these are the days when we are interacting everything through alexa or you know we are talking uh, we we hardly start you know 
confusing key, uh, whether it's our mobile or anywhere. So, you know, we understand that uh, the requirements of languages have uh, become very different from what they used to be in the past. But uh, there is one question, which is that, you know, now since the, uh, the requirement of every customer is that when they spend on localization, it should, you know, they also have a lot of expectations from the people who are delivering, whether they are the freelancers or the companies. So, you know, how does one meet the language expectations of the client when the environment is so, you know, has got so much of competition and it is, uh, you know, the expectations seem to be very high from the customers? Yeah, very important, very interesting uh, question, um, uh, Tanushri. Yes, need of the word, keeping, you know, you know, uh, catering to, to, to customer expectations in this challenging environment is, is, is I mean, has been a challenge in whether, uh, you know, it, we were in the early days or even today. As I said, I mean, with technological advancement, everybody is expecting us to be, uh, you know, to be fast and efficient. So uh, uh, coming to the core of your question, uh, how does one keep, uh, uh, you know, how does one meet uh, the, the customer expectations uh, on this, uh, uh, in, in these, in, in these uh, faced with, with these challenges? One is, as I said, I mean, I cannot stress uh, being uh, you know, up to date with the technology anymore. I mean, any, any more or less, uh, one has to be technically equipped abreast period about this. Uh, uh, while there could be, uh, you know, uh, limitations on an individual contributor, uh, as, as an individual, you can maybe contribute to one or two or three domains at the mo most, uh, most, most uh, uh, you know, efficiently. But if you are a service provider and or localization service provider, Okay, you have to be, you know, available in, in you know, different avatars for, for, for different customers. Okay, somebody wants, uh, you know, very fast, uh, very quickly, very efficiently turned around e-commerce uh, uh, content. Uh, then there is an OTT, which requires, you know, maybe it could be time sensitive, it could be secret, you know, it could be uh, very culturally challenging, but they, they, they want you to deliver. So uh, what I have uh, seen in and especially last three years is that, uh, you know, the organizations uh, have, uh, you know, uh, have started developing expertise like and you know a base of of of, of uh, uh, experts uh, for for a domain or on and and to, mm -hmm. to, in, some, in some cases also to uh, to to a brand i mean and the customers are very uh, open and uh, you know candid about uh, uh, having their expectations to have dedicated uh, you know expert resource base uh, and so much so that they, I mean, they, they may even ask you to, to, to maybe to, to expose the, 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 the individual, the, 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 the team contributing to, 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 to their process so that they are sure that same people with the same, I mean, same people who have been screened, who are qualified for this domain, this type of content are, are providing services to us. Customers may not know all the language, but they would expect their language service providers to to address these these you know these finer expectations finer needs from from service providers like us so i have uh, i mean uh, we have done this uh, for for us as well we have developed dedicated uh, you know uh, resource base for 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 a few customers in house as well as uh, externally and we are we are we are uh, managing them uh, you know uh, uh, you know, to cater so, to Yogi, since we since we have a fair share of uh, you know uh, individual contributors or freelancers in the participants, I feel that you know when it comes to meeting the customer expectations these days, you know, which always was a case, but research on whether it is a technical content, you know, making oneself savvy 
with the tool as well as the content. You know, these days we have a lot of instructions uh, which are very different from what they used to be earlier. Earlier we used to have style guides only or glossaries, but these days we have a whole lot of instructions which also talk about um, not only the uh, language aspect, but also the technological aspect and the, you know, the audience profile and how it is impacting. So I feel that the individual contributors or the freelancers should have a takeaway from here that, you know, learning the tool as well as, you know, researching and, uh, you know, for example, sometimes, um, uh, you know, when we see there are some a very uh, weird kind of translations, I would say, that come up. Uh, and it is definitely not for the people who are attending uh, that I mean them have done. But generally, I'm saying in the language industry, when we watch movies, you know, the OTT and we know the language, and when we, uh, you know, read the subtitles, sometimes we say, ah, this guy has, you know, whosoever has translated has really misinterpreted the meaning. But you know, somebody who's just relying on subtitles probably will get it entirely wrong and maybe would not understand the whole mood of the movie. So I feel that for the individual contributors, the takeaway should be that, you know, researching, asking more of questions from whosoever the customer, whether it's an agency or an end customer, even if it means, you know, watching the movie they provide or, uh, you know, asking them the context. So the more we ask, the more we research, the more we get deeper into the required, uh, be the tool or the content, the better are the translations. That, that is something I thought I should just add my two bits here. Definitely, I mean, I, I completely agree. And uh, 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 I well, completely endorsing your, your point of view. I mean, research and uh, is, 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 is key. And uh, I mean, uh, we are also witness to you know, the customers also going out of the way, like, you know, something that I could not have thought of, maybe, you know, uh, you know, maybe a few, 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 uh, maybe some time ago, they are sharing the, 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 the content completely so that you, you, you know, you understand this in and out and then provide translation. So, so much so. And uh, of course, there are, uh, I mean, while while the there are some customers who are very casual but there are there there, there are customers who are very very particular about uh, you know what is being said uh, you know in, when when their their product is localized so all sorts of uh, expectations are there uh, to individual contributors one thing i i i mean i i i can uh, i can um, uh, I, I would like to say see one cannot be an expert of all the domains. Ne never let us not uh, try to be, you know, jack of all trades. Not possible in this domain. Okay, you can be good at one or two. So focus on 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 those uh, those those strengths. And uh, while I mean, we'll coming to coming, uh, we'll, we'll talk about this in the when human resources part. While there is a, you know, there is a huge crowd of, uh, yeah, for, of, of, of maybe uh, maybe resources and language service providers, but uh, there are still people who are commanding, you know, a, a good price and and who have uh, respect for themselves even in, in individual capacity. So there's no dearth of, uh, I mean, there's no the, I mean, there's no shortage of demand for for. Uh, uh, people who want to go deep and who want to work hard. Right. So coming to to human resources, oh, we have 15 minutes only. So, well, again, it's a part of which uh, we already mentioned, but uh, it's a key, key element. And uh, you know, having seen the, the evolution of this domain from day one uh, till this date, I mean, it feels like, uh, you know, uh, will the machines replace, uh, you know, us everywhere? Okay, there might be, there, there might be places, domains where, where machines can, can uh, you know, uh, take, uh, take over, replace human beings. But in this domain, there would always be a need for, 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 
a positive human intervention. There was always be a need and there will always be a demand. So, uh, well, uh, uh, the, the human resource aspect, I, I mean, there are several things to, to say about this. Uh, one thing very current these days is, is a high pressure of inflation on, on uh, human resources. Uh, this means that uh, you know, uh, uh, good quality resources are, are uh, you know, commanding price and they, they are in, in, in demand. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, it has not, uh, you know, uh, while the supply is huge, like there is a you know, huge supply. I mean, this is not the case whereby, you know, we, we did not find uh, resources for this language or that language. There's huge supply, individual contract, I mean, contributors, organizations, uh, groups and all. So there is huge supply, but you know, uh, uh, the, the good quality resources are still commanding a price, they are in demand. And uh, they will continue to, to, to do this, uh, to this, they will command a premium price uh, naturally. Uh, there is a, you know, a, a clamor for brand and domain specialization in the industry these days, which we, we briefly talked about while we were discussing the last slide and uh, to an extent answering, uh, uh, to, to an extent Tanushri also touched this part. So there is a demand for, uh, you know, uh, brand and domain based specialization. Uh, customers, uh, while they, you know, they may not know uh, these, I mean, you know, nobody's expected to know several languages, but they are, they, they are finding ways to, 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 to secure, uh, you know, good specialists, you know, you know, branded, uh, you know, people from, from service providers lines, uh, because brands have also evolved their personality and style uh, like this. I mean, uh, even the, in the technical, so-called technical domain, I mean, uh, I, I see from things from, from this side, I, 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 you know, and we have multiple, I mean, I, I have visibility into multiple customers' uh, uh, content. I can see, you know, two similar type of companies, uh, they, they have different styles, they have the different styles, they, they are demanding uh, different. So they have evolved into to, to their own uh, personality and style. And um, Quality expectations are, uh, are are changing too. I mean, and then here again, I will uh, briefly touch about the the concept of consistency and all those. So those 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 uh, things are, you know, I mean, quality and compliance used to be the uh, consistency and compliance be used to be the key parameters. Uh, not anymore. I mean, they have lost their sheen to a great extent. Okay, particularly like I, I, I can give, give an example of, uh, you know, OTT domain. For them, uh, quality is not only accuracy and, uh, you know, compliance, but also, you know, uh, addressing the needs to, to be diversified. I mean, the, 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 the inclusiveness of, of the localized content and being sensitive to the to, to, to the source as well as to the to, to the target uh, uh, language is, is 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 what defines their quality and uh, this is uh, like this is this this is one of the the, 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 the big uh, uh, changes that i have for for uh, organization as well as as well as individuals so the definition of quality has undergone uh, uh, you know a huge change I, i'm not saying for for a moment that uh, consistency and you know uh, um, quality and all those things are 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 you know like the, the standard parameters have are are completely obliterated no but they 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 they, they are sharing the space with 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 more what what customers are expecting these days and uh, you know uh, quality, uh, compliance, uh, being sensitive and all things, all club together are you know, expected to be delivered within a time frame. So, you know, catering to delivering within the timeline is also part of the, you know, all the, the, the broad 
you know quality delivery from 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 us so it, it's a huge uh, change uh, another important aspect of human resources uh, in in this uh, is 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 domain is you know managing the costs like uh, well uh, uh, the uh, as i said uh, the customers are are uh, demanding good quality uh, dedicated resources domain experts brand experts uh, to be working for them they are ready to pay premium but uh, the human resources the people actually contributing are also you know uh, now localization transition has become a well established uh, uh, vocation in 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 this part of the world as well so the prices are increasing there as well and uh, uh, so managing the cost under these uh, challenging uh, circumstances and managing a consistent flow of uh, resources regularly catering to 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 our customers is 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 is, is, a, is a bigger challenge uh the natural question would be uh, you know while this is a challenge it's a maybe uh, nothing new it's it's not a news but how to to uh, to to manage uh, the 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 cost uh, within the overall uh, you know ambit of the process and customer expectation uh, the answer is uh, again uh, primarily uh using the technology very very efficiently uh, uh aligning with the customer technology as well as investing on on your own to 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 deliver things uh, uh, uh very fast very efficiently and also investment in you know uh, good human resources like as i said brand and domain expert uh, resources i mean this specialization would would uh, it is evolving very fast uh, you know and, and we know people we know individuals we know organizations who 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 are uh, catering to specific needs so that's also a good investment localization training is is also evolving as a you know as 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 a, as, a, as, a, as a domain there are people uh, with based on their experience are who are you know who are now in a position to provide to train people in in of course i mean i i personally believe transition cannot be taught but localization can certainly be uh, be taught to 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 a great expert and somebody who is a you know who's who's somebody who's is good with, with with some languages can be converted into uh, you know a, a a good localizer so uh, uh, intervention of technology you know efficient use of technology will re reduce the 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 requirement for human resource resources and this will will help us uh, con and control the the cost uh, that's what my my uh, basic belief is okay so, so Nuresh, we have uh, a question uh, from our participant that you know when we are talking so much about machine translation so what's the question is that what is the exact expectation of a lo of localization industry from machine translation service providers uh, you know like subala subala lata who has asked this question yeah mm, yeah good question so yeah uh, machine translation expectation from i mean i can answer it from from maybe say uh, Uh, two standpoints if you are a machine transition provider there are i mean some of us might might be uh, from this crowd might be might be doing that so you need to provide more and more efficient and machine transition outputs okay i mean update your engine uh, better gloss with management terminology management uh, if you are in a position deploy human intervention at your level but that that part you need to to keep on working and it it's it's a very competitive uh, domain very competitive i mean uh, there are huge players i mean customers who have billions of words in their kitty okay they are competing with uh, you know uh, there are people who have core expertise in in these machine transitions so for for people i mean if 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 the if the competition is between you know uh, you know only a machine 
transition uh, catering uh, service provider with a with a with a customer who you know they who themselves have their own uh, provider so you can see the level of competition okay but technology like you know regular investment in technology regular refinement of uh, of 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 the of the input given to to machine uh, machine transitions uh, there are i mean i i am not an expert on uh, the technical part of it but uh, uh, you know uh, labeling of content labeling of data is 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 is, is what is expected uh, to 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 contribute to to your uh, your your uh, you know better speed, but still better efficiency and um, what was the second part uh, uh, what, what is expected out of uh, the, the machine transition post editors right was it the question yeah so uh, you know they are the machine translation service provider hmm. okay um, so are they they, they uh, machine transition they, they provide machine transition or they are machine transition post editors you can reply in both the context so that you know okay. we have both the audience so yeah, yeah. okay so yeah so machine transition providers i i, I said you know it's an evolving technology and the more we 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 go into it it is going to be you know uh, more and more efficient and it will demand further like uh, the uh, you know the <laughs> these digital assistants have become quite interactive and efficient but they are now going into you know uh, maybe new domains i i recently came across something from the aviation industry like highly sensitive uh, you know and and security centric life sciences you know medical domain uh, you know ai is 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 working very in so they, they are requiring high level of efficiency and uh, um, uh, you know uh, very efficient delivery from from us for the machine transition post editor uh, competitors i like you know service providers so developing uh, you know um, which is a recent uh, uh, thing like developing dedicated resource base expertise is is something that uh, that that will uh, that will be the 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 order of the day uh, there would be you know there would still be a scope for you know crowdsourcing in 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 our domain there would be you know still be con you know content that would be that could be translated using a huge uh, you know external base resource based based mm-hmm. translation but some specialization uh, you know some domain expertise is something that is uh, that will that will still be required with all the machine transition efficiency coming into the ai doing its part there would still be uh, you know a role for very positive efficient human intervention in 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 the industry okay you may go to the technology may go to any level but uh, human intervention would is 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 going to be uh, be there uh, you know at least in the you know the future that i can see from here okay so yogesh the next question uh, is from your um... fellow team member from lionbridge he is from your bengali team so his question <clears throat> sudeen can you read that for me please yeah yeah tanishree i'll just read it loud so as being a linguist you know very well that how much expertise of uh, the target language is required for a linguist side by side it is also needed to know that uh, how much modification are being uh, you know uh, are happening in terms of target language how they are being modified uh, for you know or, or being modernized so in this aspect don't you think linguists should have that much more clarity to understand the evolution of his or her own language in order to perform better or the habit of translating would be uh, increased for nothing uh the mm-hmm. last line i didn't understand but probably what what the gentleman is asking is that the linguist 
should have that much more clarity uh, to understand and he should keep pace with the he or she should keep peace with the with the evolution of his or own or her own language mm -hmm. okay uh, i i i hope i understood so um the uh, clarity i mean um, uh, by clarity i i i i'm assuming you you uh, mean uh, to ask understanding the requirement uh, uh, i don't know uh, so i mean i i'm sorry i i, I think i i've not got the question uh, sudin can you just maybe yes. just read it yeah first? so i'll just read it again so yeah please Tanushree, you want Basically, to take that? Yogesh, what he is saying is that you know, since so many changes are happening in the language, so you know, as a linguist, should they know how their language is evolving? Uh, otherwise, you know, with so much of transliteration happening, there will be, you know, at the end, nothing will be left. Then you know, just transliterating <laughs> the whole content. That is what he is oh. asking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is about transliteration. I mean. <laughs> uh, this has been in the in, in, it's a it's a classic uh, standard question in the, in the how much to translate and how much to translate rate uh, my friend there is no uh, i mean till date there is no uh, like uh, uh, you know a standard or uh, maybe fixed parameter or whereby i can say that uh, you know this much of transliteration is okay and that much of translation is is maybe overdoing or overkill no uh, there has to be a mix a judicious mix okay and and and, and it's a i mean it's a broad question but it it will have a broad answer okay there has to be a judicious mix okay uh, technical domains which we always keep saying technical domains the concepts which are new which are thought in in the original in in the language or which are for thought for the you know for the domain upload and download i mean very basic uh, things okay they are for this computing environment only thought in english they mean everybody knows what this means so these type of things would are are okay to be to be you know to be to be transliterated and uh, around that whatever you can if you can you know basically the what the job of a linguist is to 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 make a good khichdi of of translation and 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 uh, transliteration and uh, you know meet it meet meet the customer uh, expectation and the user requirement if the part of your question is that if everything would be transliterated nothing would be left of uh, you know and what will we will, will i read in mn i read bengali i will feel as if i am reading english no friend this is not going to happen okay this is not going to happen the the new content types some of which i i, I mentioned and uh, i'm 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 and you know being a, i can say with conviction being being on this side this is not going to happen okay i mean everything would be transliterated and everything would be technical no this is not going to happen there would be hindi there would be bengali there would be french there would be the, the spanish there is going to be uh, these are going to be there and uh, you know uh, being a, being a localizer or linguist myself i i i always i mean i very positively believe and i have tremendous faith in this concept that uh, you know there is no threat to the the languages by 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 you know by by being localized i i strongly believe the language are only evolving with 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 the, with the new concept and new new thoughts and new words coming into the language the languages are only evolving they are not going to be be, be extinct okay as long as the languages we we are open i mean uh, i i don't want to deep i mean uh, kind of signal to anybody but what happened to sanskrit okay because it was a kind of you know it it, it was kept, you know preserved as a, as, a, as a, like domain of 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 a few you know if the languages are open to to accepting new concepts and new words and content they are only evolving they are only flourishing they are not going to be vanished that's my firm belief thank you so much uh, yogesh for answering the question 
and for such a wonderful interactive session the insights are definitely they reflect the kind of pressure i think we shouldn't be leaving you uh, today definitely sure. we will but we would like to have more of you in our sessions so uh, thank you so much for taking out time and sharing your knowledge with every one of us and i would like to thank all the participants for taking out time and you know coming up with such wonderful questions and uh, attending the webinar uh, keep registering for more of sitlaw webinars every month we have and uh, you know we we will talk more so thank you so much everyone thank you so much thank you for uh, inviting me and thank you for for providing this wonderful opportunity to interact with uh, my fellow industry people it was great experience thank you so much bye 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 thank you thank you very much yogesh ji thank you very bye -bye. much bye bye thank you sure thank you